having drinks tonight? Yeah, me too. I, uh, I love having drinks. It's my favorite thing. Had a rough weekend, though. Really bad. You know, you have those regrets after a weekend. It was because because uh, I didn't drink. It's a huge mistake. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. What the hell was going through my head? I uh, woke up on Sunday morning. I was like, I called my friend. I was like, dude, what the hell happened? He said, uh, nothing. Nothing happened. I was like, shit, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> nothing always happens. And uh, I had to check my phone. I had to check my phone to make sure I didn't sober text anyone. That's a big problem I have. Because I, uh, I sober text people. I always regret it when I sober text people. And I, uh, I checked my phone and I did. I said, uh, hey mom, love you. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Holy shit, now I gotta clear this up. So in the morning I was just like, hey, just so you know, I was sober last night, I didn't mean any of that. It's all a lie and uh, you can fuck off, please. A little too harsh, I'm sorry. Anyone here got that uh, social anxiety? Pretty quiet, which makes sense. Uh, yeah, I was talking to a friend who feels the uh, spotlight effect. You know the spotlight effect? You go out in public, you feel like everyone's staring at you, you feel like everyone's judging what you're doing. I was uh, putting my friend at ease. I said, dude, there's no social situation in which total strangers are staring at you, judging what you're doing. <laughs> well, I'm in... Uh, Bad shape here. All right. And the other, the other kind of anxiety is that, uh, you know, the imposter syndrome. You feel like you're a fraud. You feel like you don't deserve what you have. I like to play a game called, is it imposter syndrome or are you just shit at what you do? <laughs> Generally the latter in my experience. Yeah, oh, I feel like such an imposter. Yeah, that's because you suck. That's me talking to myself. All right.